<sighs> What's up, everybody? Um, this is Rebel. Um, I told you all that I was going to go live. I'm waiting on Lewis to come in. I'm waiting on Lewis to come in. bring them on the video. Okay. Send right. okay. invite. Okay. All right, Lewis, it should be adding you on right now. It should be adding you on, Lewis. What's up, brother? How you doing, Halito? Halito. Uh, Halito. Let me pull it back just a little bit. Let me pull this back just a little bit. Um, let me pull this back because I want to make sure it can get both of us in the camera. Hold on. All right. Okay. All right. So um, I got, I've been knowing Lewis uh, for about, it's going on three years, right? We've been yeah, knowing each other for years. about three years. Yeah, can you um, hear me good? I hear you real good. Matter of fact, hold on one second. Let me take, let me take this off. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. You can hear me now. Yes. Okay. Let me just introduce you so people know who you are. I've been knowing Lewis for about three years. Um, I met him through him um, trying to organize his own tribe. And um, he's, uh, he's younger than me and he's very informational. I learned a lot from him. And um, can you tell him about your tribe? First of all, just tell him about your tribe and what tri what's your tribe. Yeah, my, well, I've been informed since I've been a, a youngster. My great grandmother informed me that you know I was Indian, so I've been knowing it pretty much my whole life. Uh, uh, my dad had done a lot of ancestral work before I even knew about it, so I'm just following most of his footsteps for what he done before he passed. So um, on my father's side, I'm Helen Stride, and my mother's side, I'm Blackfoot and Cherokee. Oh, all right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the black nobility. And um, January, I did a video on the black nobility. And I got a lot of flax, flax, a lot of people, they was upset because the black nobility led to the black Amores, which are the Moors in Europe. And um, he, uh, I'm going to read, I'm going to read something and then I'm going to let you take it from there. And you tell me what you think, because I know you know a lot about the black Amores. Yeah. So I'm going to read this to get it just to get it started. And then I'm going to let you take it from there. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. So this is the black nobility. The, the black nobility is based is base is the base of the global crime syndicate that controls this planet. The black nobility and the black, um, the black families, wait a minute, aristocratic families that side sided with the, Papacy under Pope Pope the Ninth, after the army of the Kingdom of Italy, led by the Savi Savi family, entered Rome on September twentieth, eighteen seventy, overthrew the Pope in the Papal States, and took over the, the palace. and And the noble later by the Pope prior to the Lateran Treaty of nineteen twenty nine. Any family that produced popes from the Vatican is royalty. It is royalty. For most of the black nobility are Vatican royalty. The black nobility consider themselves sovereign princes. Princes. These families earn the title of black nobility from their relentless unscrupulous um, unscrupulousness. And what, what unscrupulousness means is showing no, no mercy, having no moral principle, um, they uh they're not honest and fair so they they use murder rape kidnapping robbery and all kinds of deceptions on a large scale without resisting the achievement achievement of their objectives so yeah <clears throat> so i'm going in life from that point they've been doing this since their existence but the whole, whole key to this whole problem that we've been presented with we thinking on one hand that these white Europeans 
has conquered us and they have been conquering the world. But the whole problem with it, it was a lie. History been whitewashed to hide the true enemies. And who are the true enemies? I'm about to reveal that to you. Because I'm going to go back into the 14th century all the way up to the 19th century to show you the people that you think had our race is the American Indian, the true American Indian, not mixed with Siberians, not mixed with the Mongolian. I'm full blooded, 100%. Full blooded. My sister right here, speak full blooded. We're, when we say American Indian, we're not talking about mixed with some Siberian and Mongolians. We are full, full blooded, copper tone, 100% American Indian. And so what's been happening is the enemy that we see with our eyes has an enemy behind them that give them the intellect to oppress us, to do all these things to us. So I'm going to take you back to the 14th up to the 19th century to show you that these people haven't been on earth that long. They've been dying by the millions because of the way they live, the filth, the disease, and they've been dying off. And who come to their rescue? The Moors. Who are the Moors? That's the black nobility who's melanated skin men like me and yours, but they're not the same people as in you. They, they, they always been in control of Europe. Always has. But when the, when the um, Caucasian Caucasians was dying from what's called the, uh, the white my pesties disease from the black rat off the fleet, the fleet tick from the black rat. They affected their entire race because of their recessive gene. They was dying by the millions. And I want rubber to bring that up to show you a map. I'm gonna show you this map. Oh shit. Oh no what I didn't copy that map. Hold on, let me see if it's in here. You talking about the blue bonnet plague. Yeah, the bubonic plague, the bu the bubonic plague. It's called a white pestis disease from the 14th century all the way up to the 1920s here in America. They was dying by the middle. So the people that have been telling you that they, they've been doing this and they're going around the world country was a lie. It was the Moors the whole time. The Moors knew how to sell the world. And, and, and uh, they've been going through all countries and countries, indigenous nation after nation, destroying and killing other melanated beings. And they've been using the Caucasus who they, they trained. They trained them, gave them instructions, showed them the celestial knowledge, taught them, taught them how to be a human being, taught them how to eat, how to bathe, gave them medicines. Every that they came is come from the Moors. And that's who that we've been now in America been infiltrated by. Not just not just the white man himself. The more sized temples, the more the wear them fancies on the head. Cause even Sarah Sue said it talked about it in one of his videos where he showed actual footage where they was killing other melanated beings in other countries, killing by the millions. But the whole, whole time you thinking that the white man been doing all this conquering and he was dying off, almost completely died off, is it wasn't for the more. From the 14th century up to the 19th century, it's estimated from 75 million to 200 million uh, white Europeans from Caucasians uh, descended was dying. Less than five. Five days once they attract the disease, they die. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And so here they were telling us that they was enslaving us. No, they were brought here as slaves. They was escaping slavery coming here. The Moors taught them how to sail here. We've been already here our entire lives. Thousands of years. Since the beginning of time. And that's, that's the problem that the black nobility for the Pope who reports back to the black nobility, who is the black nobility? These same people that were king and princes during the medieval period. King James of Scotland, King George, all these people was melanated beings. They didn't die off. 
They had children. They people still live. That's why they was able to recover them to be able to help them to get them where they at now. And they using them to this day to oppress up and hide their hand from the evil that they've been doing throughout the world. And most people don't want to believe that, but that's a fact. The history shows it. Okay. From the 14th century to the 19th century, people was dying by the millions. I wish you had brought the map, but we're gonna leave you with the um with some uh, uh links to be able to go back to it before the end of the segment to show you exactly how to look this information up so that you know that we say it's a fact. But even during that time period, most of the European nations was blaming the Jews because they figured that the Jew was spreading the disease because their their race was able, compared to the other European races, was able to survive at a higher rate, 20 to 40% higher compared to the other white European nations. It's called an FMF mutation recessive gene that the Jews got where they was able to survive at a higher rate compared to all the other European nations. And that, and that made me believe to this day part of why they call themselves the chosen ones. And that, that's why, to this day, most of the Jews are in control of most of the structures here in America. Because what I'm thinking today, even from the coronavirus, it was a test, but think about it, we're not them. We're the most potent ether beings upon this earth, even from the other melanated beings. We had a high percentage of, of, of being what's called uh but people said dying, you know, and they said we 15 people, but we the highest melanated beings upon the earth. And that's why we've been attacked the way we've been attacked. And that, that blame me, bring me to the um, Muhammad Ali video I'm about to show you. I'm going to distinguish you to show you that even though you thinking black is black, but black is not even our color anyway. But because of your mentality, you think all melanated people, all melanated beings are black, but I'm going to show you this video of Muhammad Ali in 1958, where he says he went to a restaurant to eat. And so you know them time was real, uh, 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 real treacherous at that time in 1958 in America. He couldn't eat, eat in the restaurant because they wouldn't allow him in. But two other brothers who was melanated had on rolls in a tur turban was allowed to come in because that man was able to distinguish him from them. He knew Muhammad Ali was an American Negro, which is an American Indian who indigenous to this land of America. And he knew that those people had on them robes, even though there was black men, he knew they belonged black to the black nobility. So he was able to distinguish between us and them and allow them to eat there and will not allow us to eat there. So I'm going to show that video real quick. Let's see, can you, um, you able to show that? I mean, yeah, I got it. You, you sent it to me, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, I can pull it up right now and show it to them. Because I want them to see this, to know, to hear it from his voice. He was alive at that time, and you know Muhammad Ali was yeah. very serious he took our people and us being liberated very seriously. You ready? Yeah, go ahead and show it. All right. I'm going to pull it up right here. Okay. Um, one day I saw two Africans go in with their robes and their turbans. They couldn't speak English. They let him in. They're not Negroes. Okay, he didn't. You want me? At the time in 19. Uh, 58. We couldn't eat in the restaurants in Louisville. We couldn't eat downtown. One day I saw two Africans go in with their robes and their turbans. They couldn't speak English. They let him in. They're not Negroes. Okay. That's all. This, the, the point I'm making is what he just said. The man, man knew that Muhammad Ali was American Negro, which is American Indian. But when the other brothers came, they had on the road with the turbans, who that that image is of the image of the Moors. So I'm gonna use other clips or pictures to show you any from the 60s where they 
they want their fans as they were the turners. Indeed, that white man, these white people that, that you think is racist, which they are racist towards the American Indian, but not just because you're black. They want to try to press us because they want to take our lane. That's all it was about. So that right there, just to let you know, this 1958 America, and he knew to distinguish Muhammad Ali as an American Negro and an African, and that's really important. And, and what I, I wouldn't just say African, I say part of the black mobility because, but most of them do wear their, them turbans and them robes. And they knew to let them in because they under that oath, they all took their oath. Even the Ku Klux Klan, the, uh, the Crown of England, and they report back to the Pope, and which is Morocco. Morocco, even Morocco, they, they king is a Arab. They wear the fezes. They hide because Morocco owns the United States Corporation along with Israel. Because it, it was just born, Israel was born in 1948. So these people don't have power the way you think they have power. The real intellect was coming from other melanated beings that sort of look like me and you, but they're not us. They was true enemy. They was our enemy for the white man even existed. And he almost died off with the last hundred some years, twenty years ago. There was there was almost dying from the what's called the white disease. You want me to read it? You want me to read it right quick about the bu bubonic yeah. plague? Go ahead, go ahead. The plague is considered the likely cause of the Black Death that swept through Asia, Europe, and Africa in the 14th century and killed the uh, estimate of 70, 70 million to 200 million people, including about 25% to 60% of, of the European population. Because the plague killed so many of the working population, wage rose due to, due, due to the demand of labor. You know, so, so and some hysterians see, historians see this as a turning point in Europe economic development. You know, so Yeah, basically their society was destroyed because all the people had died off. So they sold other places to replace that label. That's their whole point of infiltrating Turtle Island where we was plenty for. We didn't get sick. We didn't have no disease most of We lived off nature. And so that's the point I want to bring to about the black nobility. And I wish I could bring the map up, but I'm going to give you the links to go back to be able to find the information. But these people had infiltrated our society all down to the gang members. Most people don't even know that. The reason why they turn our youth against one another because it's the youth that always fought these, these um. Uh, wars and uh, uh, and and um uh, and the protests throughout time since they've been here, but within the last fifty to sixty years, I used to turn against one another because of the games, and that that's, and that and that and that's part of the Moors with they, these boys side temple along with the CIA infiltrated these uh, organizations like the Black Panthers and broke them down, and from that point, that's when the games were formed. And it's been in hell ever since. In all the inner cities, our youth been dying by the hundreds. Day in, day out. Because they don't know the knowledge. And the, and, and the structure of the black nobility is goes from the, the, the people that's always controlled Europe. The Pope reports back to them. The Pope gives information to the Crown, which is England, to Morocco. And from Morocco to the corporations here in America. And then it goes down to the mafia bosses. The mafia was called the Knights of Columbus, the police officers, all the organizations, the Masons, the Freemasons. It breaks it down all the way to that. That's, that's what's going on in your community. That's where the evil comes from within your community. Wherever you live in America, know the discussion is coming from the lodges that's been ran by these people, infiltrated, using some of our people who took oath to them for money and this and this was causing our destruction but I have a solution on what we, we can do as a people to be able to fight back and before the segment over with I'm going to enlighten you on what's called the dream world
because they attacked us first through the dream world to be able to break us down on this side, which is the avatar world. And I'm going to give you some information on that. But I'm going to go to um, um, go to my notes real quick. Um, You talking about the gangs? Oh, yeah. Gang. You want me, yeah. You want me to do that? Yeah, yeah. But, but, um, yeah, you can bring up the picture by uh, um, the uh, the um, the Moors, the one out of Chicago. Larry, show that real quick. Yeah, Larry. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna talk about that real quick. Okay. Yeah, no problem. It won't let me enlarge it. I don't know why, what's going on, but it's okay. You can see it from there. But the pictures that you see it now, the same thing that the Moors wear. The, those, that guy right there they're showing, Jeff Fort, I think that's Larry Hunter in the background. Those guys was, is part of the start of the game back in the 60s, early 70s. Some of one started the against the cycle. I think the other one started the Black Peace Stone, if I'm not mistaken. And those games that now is caused of the majority of the death going on in Chicago to this day and throughout America. And, and most of these games, even in L.A., New York, but most of L.A., them game members that started back in those days six, seven, in the 70s, most of them was ages. They started that for the youth because they know in order to score people, you have to destroy their youth. And that's where we at to this day. It's rapid throughout all inner cities, even down to the rural towns. People are claiming sex. And they willing to kill each other over sex. They don't even understand the whole economic and the whole situation that would this arrive from and what the cause of this. And they don't want to tell the truth, but this is the real truth. It's, it's other melanated beings that giving them the intelligence on how to oppress us. They always behind their hand in history. The original Romans, the original Greeks was melanated beings. I just showed them all. I, I, I just proved to you where these people was dying, these, these Caucasians was dying off by the millions. For the 14th century, all the way up to the 19th century, they died. They ain't in no position to conquer a motherfucking thing. They can't do nothing. Only thing they got to worry about is how they put these bodies in. But the people who've been doing the conquering and killing, they wore them red fences. They always just don't. And y'all wonder why we never was able to rise up. But even, even with the Black Panthers, they came in closer. Organizing throughout the entire America and most of the major cities, they was able to put an office up, put a breakfast up for the youth, but they was infiltrated because they, 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 they're going off the figure because you was melanated, you was on we was on the same side, and that was not always true. We, we was being infiltrated the whole time. Mm -hmm. And that's why we haven't been able to rise as a people. But I'm going to give you a solution before this segment over for how we will rise as a people. Because a lot of stuff can take place in the next two years I'm going to reveal to you now. Because they became de desperate. Because they, the mistake they made when they shut down their company for the last two to three years because of this pandemic that they tried to create, that they wanted to try to, hoping that they'll kill millions of it and then they plan failed. So they woke us up. They woke us up as, as, as a nation. Because for one, I told you earlier, we the most potent ether beings upon this earth. We're connected to the cosmos. We just the same as the plants and the trees, the water, everything that's part of nature. We're the same as the earth. We are part of nature. And what thing about nature, you cannot destroy nature. You can burn a forest down. It'll go up stronger and faster than it was before you when you burnt it. The same with us as a people. We they, they destroy us, but we're gonna come back stronger than we ever been. 
ever been even in the history before what they done done to us because we connected to the cosmos. Our DNA, our DNA is being reactivated. Your DNA is memory. Most of our memory is coming back. People are waking up to the to the, to the all the that have been done to our people. The lies are being taught. Now people can see through the government for what they is because your enemy was, is never meant to help you. And that's what I'm going to bring up about, about this reparation as well. If over the next two years, if even the state of California talking about giving reparations to what's called African Americans, but you're not an African, you was American Indian. But that probably be part of that probably be a part of the stipulations if you take that that money that you have to claim yourself as an African American, and then you go give up your right to this land. But on top of that, even if you take the money, this is what you got to come to a conclusion of. If you take this money, that still means you're gonna be a slave because they still gonna be in position of power. They will be in position of power over our food, position of power over our water, and with and when us being as a nation, you cannot have a nation that's trying to kill you over them type of resources. Because when it comes to money, we can we can run our own government and press our own currency up. We can raise our own flag. So that's what we, we got to do as a nation of people ourselves. We have to be willing to, to come together as a nation, even if you look to different tribes, you can keep your flag. We're going to raise one flag up. That one flag is going to represent us as a time nation. And that one flag, we can press our own currency because the trick of the trade gonna be they they desperate and they then their last draw gonna be they'll come up and say hey we're gonna be trying to give y'all the money but guess what the money is no good anyway because they already collapsed the dollar that's why they're taking everything over to the digital currency because you have to think we can't let these people be over nothing that belongs to us period. We don't need that currency. We need to take control of our own faith and our own food and our own water because we've been part of us on the daily. And and the people that's giving them this intelligence, they're coming from them red fences and them hats and them turbans. Because the Caucasian never had intelligence. He was taught everything that he learned. It was taught to him. And he's following instructions. And that's why they're at the point where they're at now. They're desperate. Because they know we're coming back into power. And when, when once we come back in power, woe to those that betrayed us. And that's the whole nation. That's every nation. Psalm 83 said it. They became confederate against the we just want to fight the white man. We'll find other melanated beings. All the, all the subhumans that were going against us just to bring us down. Because that's how strong we was. And we still is strong. But we got to put the pettiness aside, put our thoughts and collect this together because we probably won't be able to save everybody that's within our culture. But some of them too far gone. And that's why I'm telling my sister, we going to put our intellect together. Our intellect, because there's enough of us that know now. It ain't like it used to be 20 years ago. We had one or two here, here and there. That's thousands and millions of, of us now that got this knowledge. That don't. And all we have to do is come together and put this knowledge together, and we can run our own country. We don't need another uh, a, a sub people running over us and uh. And and trying to kill us, poison our food, poison our water, cause destruction upon our children, being raped, molested. A hundred thousand melanated women from America go missing every single year. I'm a truck driver. I be out here on the road a lot. I hear a lot and I know a lot. A hundred thousand. They don't talk about it. They never put it on news. They got underground trains running from New York to Kansas City, from Kansas City to Denver, Denver to Northern California. So that way, this stuff not being seen up on the ground is running underground. Because I've been in some of the tunnels in Kansas that go miles and miles in the ground. My, my, my tire 18 wheeler can fit up in there. 
They got companies in there. They got trains running from New York to to Kansas City, from Kansas City to Denver to the airport, the new airport they built, and from Denver to Northern California. So this sex trafficking in, in uh in Oregon Harvest is really real because they need our blood. And that's another thing too. Our people, we need to stop donating blood to these blood banks, even going to the hospital. Unless it's a desperate, desperate situation that your life depends on it, I wouldn't give that one ounce of blood for nothing. Because when we cut their blood supply off, a lot of them are going to die off. Once we cut that blood supply off from them, keep our children, keep our elders from giving blood, stop donating to these blood banks, a lot of them will die off immediately. So this, they need they need our blood. They need the black woman organs. But she has a potent, the most potent in um in the organ. Yeah, Go ahead, what you been saying? It, it, you know, we we got the highest DNA strand. Yeah. Ours is, is 50. yeah, yeah. That's that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. So these things they've been doing to us for the last hundred years, that we. Think the white man been doing it alone. He never he, he he wasn't doing it alone. He has help. But now even fast forward to the future, even the young white people even know the shit they've been told to them now was a lie. Cause most of the shit gonna come to the decision, some they're gonna have to make a choice. Because when we come back into power, hey, if you ain't showing us that you willing to fight to death and actually fight until to your death, and if you live, probably you'll get amnesty. But besides that, if you don't show that you're willing to go to the war and die for our people, no mercy will be given to no one upon this land. Period. And so that's what the choice will have to be made. Because they no longer they're going to be in control. The corporation is going to be shut down. We the melanated being is gonna take control of Turtle Island again. It's gonna happen. Rain, sleep, or snow. It's gonna happen. And then and they come to my conclusion. Well, I'm gonna talk about about us being back to we connected to the cosmos. See, we, we ha that's why I'm gonna tell you we have a way to fight. We gotta, we gotta use our we gotta use our our, our, our our celestial power because we are directly connected to the cosmos. And I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that. What's called a dream world is actually the real world. What we at now, the bodies that we see, this illusion, this is the avatar world. They attack us first in the dream world to be able to get us to submit in this world. And how we we'll be able to defeat them, we have to come back to meditation. And, and what I mean by that, we're gonna meditate. And bring our frequency on the same level at the same time, continuously, continuously on a certain day, a certain hour, whether you're on Eastern time, time zone, Central, or Mountain Time, or Pacific, where we can meditate with come to one thought, one consent, and we can heat the sun up. What I mean by that, because I don't know how much knowledge you know of. The winters are not natural to the earth. That comes from them manipulating the weather to suit their needs because they have to have cold air to make it comfortable for them. But see, we never lived in a uh, we never had a winter society before before these beings start manipulating the weather. See, once they broke us from the cosmos and and was able to break our frequencies down, destroy our pyramids, which brought energy. We we talked, tele, we telecommunicated it mentally. They was able to connect when the, when they destroyed our tower. They was able to disconnect them from the uh, the cosmos. But once we could be, come come back to the cosmos, we can heat the sun up through meditation because we connected the sun. We star seeds, and once we heat the sun up through the dream world and the avatar world it would be uncomfortable for them and that alone can destroy them 
and I'm gonna give you a time and date that we're gonna do this meditation on for the segment as well too. And I'm gonna make another video probably next week. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just I'm gonna come up with a time that we're gonna do a meditation on Saturday and Sunday, and we'll start doing this on a weekly basis to discard a winner. So once we discard a winners, they long they no longer can be comfortable in the dream world. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and make another video after that soon too to give you more enlightening. I'm, I'm gonna share some stories with you about what happened to me in the dream world and how I was able to defeat it. But through meditation and fasting, we're gonna fast 24 hours, possibly 48 hours before we come into meditation. Because we're going to focus on, our whole focus is going to be on heating up the sun. And it, it can be done through meditation. Because we we directly connect it to the cosmos. And that's the whole point of you classifying your penile gland so that you, you your third eye can come completely open. And once we we do it as a people, no one will be able to stop us. And that's why they don't want us to, to focus and move as a nation. They want you to try to do stuff as an individual. And they attack you and you see it every day. Police officers surround, it be 10 and 15 of them, none of be one of you. None of your people come to your aid. Because we dis we are disconnected as a people. But we're coming back into now. And, then, and and that's my point about that. But I'm I'm, I'm gonna give you some more um um knowledge about what's gonna happen in the next two years about these reparations. Cause California right now is trying to offer money to the African Americans. You know they always do use California first before the other states have jumped to it. But they already know their time is almost up. I know, I know our people deserve money. We deserve a lot. But to take money from the enemy like that at a, at, at a mass rate would be foolish because if they were going to give us something, they would give it to us 100 years ago, 140, 160 years ago. Their, their, their plan is to only give the money to prolong them in control until they find a way to get our numbers down. I'm going to tell you, give an example of a country like Australia. Now, within the last 20 years, England finally started admitting, the country of England finally started admitting that the Aborigines, that's their original land in Australia. But before that, 150 years ago, 200 years ago, before they was able to kill them off, they would never meet these people was the uh, original people of Australia. But now to this day, since they went from millions down to thousands, they admit that they are the Aborigines or the original people of the land because they're no longer a threat. That's what they try to do to us. Once they get our numbers down, well, we're no longer a threat. That's when they'll come out with the truth. But we're not going to wait for that. We're not, we're not going to fall for the okie doke that our ancestors failed for. So that's what the, that's where the memory come in. That's where your DNA gonna reactivate it. They, they reveal the truth in you, within your soul, within your spirit, to make you realize we can't go back. We got to move forward. We can't keep falling for the same shit over and over and over again. These people are not gonna stop until we all are dead. And um. Now, and that's what I'm going to enlighten y'all about how towns like Tulsa, Rosewood, a lot of towns in Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, Tulsa was not the only thriving city that we had throughout the Americas. Most of our city was already developed, governed, and ran before these people even come here. So that's another thing. We thinking that when they got here, when, that's when our city got built. Our city was already built before they even got here. So, and, and and that's what I'm trying to tell you. Most of you that don't know that you are full-blooded American Indian. And I say that 
and not mixed with no Siberians, not mixed with no Mongolians, the people that run the casinos. I'm not talking about those people. You're full blooded because you're copper tone and your hair is a wool. You're not an African, period. Your feet are so tight, high cheekbones. That's us. Medium thin lips. That's us. And that's why they're able to recognize you from an African. This is why they oppress you. They don't oppress Africans or the Moors or the black nobility of Europe. And so, and they trick our people, some of them to make them believe, oh yeah, you are more, you are more indigenous to America. This used to be our Morocco. You, you see them in the video, this this our Morocco. All of them are agents. Tricking you about doing some paperwork. But I know some American Indians now that's in prison because they were hollering about their morals and know the judge gave them 20, 30 years because the judge knew they wanted morals. But they don't understand what's going on because they was tricked, infiltrated. That's why I'm trying to tell you that's where they're getting their intelligence from. The people that be, that be here just as long as us. And most of them melanated beings, they very immoral. So they're not the same as us. No, they're not the same as us. They probably just a meat suit. That's why they want it cold. That's why they won't have winners. And that's why they hide it. So they know the time is about up. So that's my conclusion on those things for right now. I'm going to let Rebel come in and finish up. Uh, uh, do you have any more questions? Yeah. First of all, when you talk about the games, when you just was talking about it, I didn't want to cut you off because then mm -hmm. that, that makes you lose what you're saying. So mm -hmm. I wanted to talk about all gang stalking and caught, quote, caught organization are owned and controlled by members of royalty and nobility. Criminal organizations such as royalty itself, royal institution, the company of Jesus, the black monks, um, the Tapler orders, Freemasonry, the Grand Orient of France, the York Rite, the Scottish Rite, right, yeah. the, the, Prince, um, the Prince Hall, the Schweiner International, the Royal Order of Jester, the Cabell Society, the uh, Scott, oh, the, yeah. the Boulay Society, the Five Percent Nation, the Nation of Islam, the Black Israelites, the Temple of Set, the Church of Satan, the Golden Dawn, the Knight of Columbus, the uh, the Ancient Order of, of Druids, the Wicca, the uh, Centuria, the Voodoo, Creek, uh, um, the Creek Fertility. I can't say this. Uh, frat, fraternity. How you say that the, the the college? I can never say that word. Oh, fraternity, the, uh, uh, the fraternity. fraternity. Okay. And brother, New Age, the Nazi cult, KKK, the mafias, prison gangs, biker gangs, and street gangs. The Rockefeller family uses their charitable charitable found, uh, foundations to fund harassment gangs and bribery in the United States, as well as the globalization agendas and vaccination program. The Rockefellers fund. F foundation fund Almighty Vice Lord Nation, which is an organized crime group, and also funded by the fund and also funded the Tavistock Institute. So all of these gangs is funded by them. And yes, and that's my whole point. Most yeah, and that's most of them. All all the organizations that you name, they are under the Freemason oath order. All of them, the Black Hebrew. All them Hebrew Israelite camps, I used to tell people back in the day, they are ran by Freemasons. You're being misled. Those gangs, those gangs that were started back in the early, late 60s, early 70s, they were started by Freemasons, and uh, they come out, uh, uh, they're wearing the fancy, which they could consider themselves as Moors. So, and the whole, whole goal of the right here is to infiltrate within our community so that we can kill one another, which we've been doing. The youth, the youth always 
place in order to score. If you score the youth, you will score them. And that's why they always focus in on you. The Boule, which was Marlon the King, along with Jesse Jackson to them, all of them in SCLC, they used them to integrate us. We were separated. If we would stay separated, to this day, we've been better off. But they used them on purpose with cracks after with that TV screen to make you think that we're supposed to have integrated with the people when we should have stayed separated. Even Martin Luther King, before he got was assassinated, he knew he had fucked up when he said it. I ain't great about people in the burning house. Even though he was a blue light member, he was a Mason. But he realized he done caused the destructions of millions of people now. Millions of people that he know, even to his death, he was not going to be able to sleep knowing that you led these people by the millions. And that's why that black woman, people never talk about this to the day. That part of why that black woman stabbed him in the chest. A lot of people knew what he was doing. And it, it wasn't falling for it. But because he had a large platform, there was no cell phone back, out back then, which the cell phone already existed, but they want to bring it out because they didn't want us connecting like they're on the level at that time. But there was a perilous time during the 60s. So all the platform you could use at that time was a TV screen, which they controlled. And even now, with the, with this now, the, these social platforms, it was formed by the CIA. CIA formed these social platforms so they can infiltrate our community to see who's believing in what and who's saying what. But the difference from us then to now, it ain't one or two people on this group. It ain't one Malcolm X or it ain't one Martin Luther King. It's thousands of us. It's millions. So, hey, they list is overloaded. So they can't just like focus in on this motherfucker here and this moment because they got millions of people that are speaking on platform about the same thing. See, back in them days, they only had one or two people who was outspoken. So when they killed them, they shut down the whole they shut down the whole uh, organization or the whole movement. But this time it's a million, it's ten million, it's two million. They're not gonna be able to focus in on one person anymore. That's not going to work the same no more. What, what about Christopher Christopher Columbus, which they say he was a white man? Yes, he was a, he was a more. He was a melanated man. You got to understand, go back to what I just tell you. These motherfuckers, these Caucasoids was not able to function on a regular human being level at the time until they was taught. They didn't know nothing about selling. They didn't know nothing about the world, period, until they was taught. They didn't know how to sell no Ocean. They was afraid to go in the ocean. They thought they were going to fall off if they went to the edge of the ocean. But once, once, once the Moors talk to them, start training them, and start bringing them to different islands and different countries, that's how they start learning. Before that, they didn't know. They was almost extinct. That's what a well, 150 years ago. What's called a white pest tease disease come from the uh, the flea off the black rat. Uh, they was eating rodents. They didn't know not to eat rodents. So when they show y'all these movies showing the Romans, they're white and they living in these castles and stuff like this here. And they living like royalty. That's fake. There was no the melanated people that was living like that, and they, they was our enemy the whole time. The white man was, was dying off. He just was formed. He wasn't, that's why I go back to religion. Yeah, that's why I didn't get to bring up. I studied the scriptures myself for years. I, I, and one, one thing that I realized, of people that claim themselves Christians, because I consider myself like a Hebrew Israelite at one time, because one thing I realized about the scripture, they put truth with lies. See, they didn't want, they did the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, the, the conversion on their own process, what they wanted to put in there, because their whole goal was to get us in a religious standpoint to separate us mentally. Because you got the Muslims here, Hebrew Israelites there, Christians here, people that Buddhists, Hinduism, shit too. They got all of us divided here in America. 
because of your religion. And most people, when it comes to their religions, they get in their feelings and they and they're not able to separate their emotions from what they was told to believe in or what they want to believe in from what's fact and what's true. Uh -huh. All of it got us at a standstill. It got us divided mentally, consciously. That's what that's what the whole point of they made up Jesus. Jesus don't exist, but they made up that character for you can give your 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 all your your soul and might to to think someone's coming to save you and not willing to stand up and fight for yourself. But most people gonna get offended because that's what they've been taught their whole lives. We always taught that coming coming up. What and religion plays a big part on the vision of our people. What about the uh, yep. Jesuits? The Jesuits, because that's close to Jesus. And I was like, is that is that where they got that shit from? Because yeah. it's very close. The Jesuits come out of the, the, uh, the uh, what's called uh, the Castle of Nicaea. Nicaea wrote the New Testament in the early early 1600s before they came here they that's what they bought the bibles here see before that we didn't have no bibles here they brought the bibles here that's why king james scotland they done the translation because they whole goal was we got to infiltrate these people we got to divide they, they knew just on a military front on a military front and they just come to try to fight us overthrow us it wouldn't have worked it so what they did, they befriended us for a second. And when we gave up paying up for those peasants to escape tyranny and, and slavery, and they was able to set up foot on our land, that's the mistake our people made that we should never have done. And see, more... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. That's all right. The more was trying to do this before the white man even came to be. He still was crawling around on the ground. So you got to put that in perspective. Our enemy, true enemy, has been hiding the whole time. Along with him that's in front that you see every day oppresses you in your own territory or in your own way. They've been killing us tremendously. Pausing us, pausing our water, pausing our food. And it got to the point now, even even you don't even eat meat. If you're not growing your own vegetables, everything you buy at a store, it's growing with pesticides. Even the seed, they even uh uh we've been eating genetic modified food since a hundred years ago. The corn that's yellow, the original corn all Always been a dark purple. Carrots always been a dark purple. Apples dark purple. They 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 done took, they been they didn't modify the foods over a hundred years ago. So you think that you've been eating uh uh vegetables and fruits that's uh normal? That's not the food, the stuff that we've been he, eating here in America have have been normal since over a hundred years ago. There's never such thing was an orange carrot or yellow corn. White corn, it all had a dark purple to it, dark blackish look. The corn, carrots, apples, all this stuff they had genetic modified. They done this over 100 years ago. So now, even now, the point that you go to your local grocery store, unless you're gonna spend extra money, most of it is uh. Growing with pesticides, and that brings me back to the Masons. Just take a short story. I'm a driver talking to another driver, which is a female. She was an older black lady, American Indian, probably. And, and I was just talking to her, and she told me she was an Eastern Star. And we were talking about the food, so we're eating the buffet. And our conversation went sort of like this. And we was talking about the food and stuff, and she was like, yeah, she got to get back home because she was an Easter star, so she got to get a list to know where it's safe to eat it because she traveled a lot like I do because she was a driver. And I asked her, 
I said, would you tell me where it's safe to eat at? She said, no, because you're not you're not a you're not a mason, so I can't reveal this knowledge to you. So these are the type of people that we're dealing with. Where it's safe to eat and where it's not safe to eat. So and this and these and these are your own people that take it an oath to do this shit. Wicked. And they shall be destroyed as well. Yeah. Yeah. No mercy is gonna be given. What does Negro mean? Negro. To call yourself a Negro, what does that mean? They 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 call yourself a Negro, they just took the way saying that you to keep from you claiming your land, they forced our people to stop calling themselves American Indian and call themselves a Negro. And so a Negro, they try to place the word Negro land, that's where they put that back in the continent of Africa. But the whole concept of that was the Pan-Africans tell you that you come from Africa because they want you to believe that so you're ready to go on your own will. So they don't have to fight up no more. They want you to believe it so you can go on your own will. That's why they offer uh, dual, citizens, dual citizenship in Ghana, Liberia. But the truth of the matter is, they took people from America to Europe. It was a small amount. It wasn't a large amount with the way they claimed because they wasn't able to cross the ocean like that. So that's another thing. The, the, the lies they've been told. What, what they were doing, they was moving us up and down the Mississippi River from one location to the next. That's how they was putting people on ships on the Mississippi River. But for us crossing that ocean, that was rarely done a few times. So that, that ride was horrendous. They would have made it. Nobody. The captain or the slave. Well, nobody would have made it. But the ocean would have got to swallow their ass up. Even to this day, the ships barely can make it on. They have to go on certain days. They have to use a weather forecast to know when the weather will be very pleasant for them to be able to travel across that ocean. And they have to use modern technology to do that with. So I know if they claim they didn't have modern technology then, they weren't able to cross that ocean at will. Especially with a wooden ship. They wouldn't have made it. The motherfucker got turned over in the middle of the ocean. They all would have died. The whole concept about we get brought here, most of y'all know that's a lie anyway. But they still put, put they push that they push that concept up, they push it through the movies because they have to retrain the, the new children that's being born. Because now we became the elders, so now they got to show more movies, make more slave movies that show, hey, this is what y'all come from, this is what you've been. So that's the whole point of them integrating we integrate. Well, the Boule, which is Molly King, integrate our people to their school so they can have this uh, this process pushed upon our ch children. And that's one thing we need to do as a people is take our children out of their schools. All of them. Yeah. Because you, you homeschooling your child, ain't you? Yes. She don't go to school. Okay. School. Because um, I'm a because uh, I only want, I want you to come back and then you elaborate on some more, but I want you to, uh, I want you to do the lion and buffalo concept of what you told me about the lion and buffalo concept. First of all, before you do that, tell us about two more things I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. And that's about what does the Moors, the red hat, stand for? The red hat. The Moors with the red hat? What does that red stand for? Now, I don't know exactly what you mean by the color wise, but the Moors, that's their sign. That's their sign. That the feds is. It's their sign, like it's like the Shriners. Well, actually, all that really is under the more scientific. The Shriners, Freemasonry, with their hats, they're saying that they, them, that 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 fans represent their knowledge. They supposed to know the ancient knowledge, basically what they're saying. They contain the ancient knowledge. Yeah. And so, their fans, that's what that post would represent the ancient knowledge. But the problem with that is. Those are the same people that have been destroying other people within this earth, other indigenous people as well. They just got to us within the last 400 some years, almost 500 years. They just got to us. But all the other nations, they already, most of them, they done destroyed them. 
Okay, so when you talk about the lineage, you say that the Moors, they know the it's their, their lineage is recorded. So it's like a person like me because I'm not a Moor, I they wouldn't, you know, my name is not in there, but mm -hmm. they know that they know their lineage. In oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah. They they know who their lineage is. They got records. Just like they got records here in America. They keep they keep they keep real good records even back to the 13th, 14th century, all the way back to AD, a BC problem. They been keeping the records because they the ones that been going around. Did you think people say Alexander the Great? Alexander wasn't he all them people that you think back going back to the Romans, the Greeks, all of those people was melanated people. And they fall, those are the same people. Up to now, those are the same people from Europe, but they they white watch their own history. The white man didn't do shit. They didn't have no power to do nothing. They was barely able to survive. The Moors white watch history on purpose so they can hide from the the, the horrific acts that they've been doing throughout the earth. So they've been hiding behind them, but hey, the white man been doing this because they trained the white man themselves. The white man never had no power. He almost died off from a disease because he didn't know how to live. He didn't know how to eat. And I and I can prove that. Do the, you bring up the uh, bubonic plague? Seventy-five million to two hundred million of them almost well, they died. Almost wiped out. And to this day, the Jews, that's why they hate the Jews. That's why even the other Europeans hate the Jews so bad to this day. Because their race was able to survive at a higher rate than the other, than the, than the other European nations. Because they thought the Europeans was the one spreading the disease on purpose. Uh, the, the Jews was. It, the, other, the Europeans, like the Spaniards, the English, the all the other nations surrounded by uh, uh, the Jews, they thought that, that these cockles are the, the uh, what do you what call it, the, um, the white Jews, they thought that, that they once spread the disease throughout Europe and their people was able to survive when everybody else was dying. And that's what I say to the day, that's part of why they call themselves the chosen ones. But see, all that, that stuff, this information, all these organizations go back to the crown of England, Morocco, and Morocco to the Pope. Who the Pope reports to? The black nobility, the melanated beings. They know not to cross them because they probably try to wipe their ass out again. They probably release the disease back on them again. And they probably know that. That's what they probably done in the first beginning. The control them. So, okay, so this is what I'm going to do, because I want you to come back okay. soon. I'm going to come back. And now what I want you to do is we're going to set a date up, and we're going to um, we're gonna meditate, and we're going to do it the way you say do it. Yeah, yeah, because I, uh, uh, I still ain't brought up about doing the meditation, what I mean about how we got to get the moral spirits out the dream world. That's what we got to do as a people. I want all of us to be able to do that. And so I, I say... Saturday at Saturday, three o'clock Eastern. If you're on the East Coast, four o'clock Central Time, five o'clock Mountain Time, six o'clock Pacific Time, which is California time. So at that time, and that's PM, three o'clock Eastern. Four o'clock Central, five o'clock Mountain Time, six o'clock Pacific Time. We're gonna do meditation. We're gonna do this meditation on Saturday at these times every Saturday, and you're gonna fast in 24 hours before you come and and, and do your meditation. And what I'm about to tell you, but this my ancestors brought this to me. I'm not just saying this off my own wheel. I've been having a vision for, for some for a while now. I never said nothing to anybody about it. 
and I brought and I brought it to my sister here. I said I, I gotta get this information out here because and the reason I know it real because I know this happened to me a while back. I'm just not gonna try to I come back to you another segment talk to you about that. Okay. To know that it's real, we gotta get them out the spirit realm. And how are we gonna do that? We're gonna heat up that sun because we connected to the cosmos. Saturday from 3 p.m., this is what we're going to do. Put your right foot in water, a little pail of water. It don't have to be deep. Your right, all, all males, all males do this. This was instructed me from the ancestors. And I wouldn't lie to you, I wouldn't play with you. I've been having a vision for a long time, but I kept it to myself, but I'm going to reveal this. Your right foot in like a little pail of water and your left foot on the ground. You don't have to dig it deep. Then put your foot in the dirt and we meditate within that within that same hour. If you can't do the whole hour, at least do 15 minutes. At least, at least start off the hour and do at least 15 to 20 minutes if you can't do the whole hour. But I like the people do the whole hour. But I know meditation takes time to practice to do it. But if you can't do it on Saturday, we're going to come in that Sunday and do it again. So the ones that can't do it on Saturday, we'll come back Sunday, do the same time. Sunday at 3 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Mountain Time, 6 o'clock Pacific. So this on a Sunday, because I know most people don't work on the weekend. And we'll do the same meditation again on that day. If you can't do that Saturday, we'll do it Sunday. And we do this continuously, continue. We don't stop because once we connect with one thought, one consent, it's not gonna do what you believe. I don't care about what you believe in. It doesn't matter. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in. I'm not gonna knock you for it. It's your personal choice. But we have to connect spiritually again to bring our same frequency. Once we come into that same frequency with one thought, one consent, we'll be able to come back to power like we used to be. And how are we going to do that? We're going to heat up that sun. We're going to burn them out that spirit realm. We're going to burn their ass out. And then on this side, it'll be a kickball. Because that, that's what they, that's how they discard us in the beginning. They discard us through the dream world. And, and like us now, this is the avatar world that we see with our eyes. But we got to get them out of that spirit realm. And I'm going to come back and talk to you about that in another segment. Because I don't want to prolong this to a point that makes make it too long where people won't watch the whole thing. But Saturday, Saturday, Eastern Time, 3 o'clock. Central Time, 4 o'clock. Mountain Time, 5 o'clock. Pacific Time, 6 o'clock. Sunday, same time. Your right foot, you put in, in a little pail of water. That represents the spirit realm. You put your left foot in. In dirt. That's what all males do. The females do the opposite. Put your left foot in a pail of water and put your right foot in the dirt. And you see, the dirt going to ground you. The dirt represents the ground, represents this uh, avatar world. The water represents the spirit realm. And do it in that order. And I promise we'll see the results. Okay. So, uh, brother, this is what I want want to do. I want you to be. I know it's, it's, we don't want it to be too much and then they'll, yeah, they don't yeah. want to listen. So um, I want you to leave and I want you to leave us with the lion buffalo concepts. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I want you to leave us with that, not leave. But okay. I want you to leave us with that. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I share that concept with her back here. And that's another thing we got to stop saying too. Uh, people saying, oh, we liars. But how we're liars, but we watch out in, we watch our members of our nations, our people get attacked daily, but we come to no aid and no assistance. Because if you take one of those pride, one of those pride, and all the females gonna ride against your ass, and the males coming too. But you know who we act like? We them buffaloes. It's 300, 400 buffaloes out there. They watch that one line or three, four lines, take one of the buffalo, and they watch that buffalo die. Won't he come to the aid? That's what we're doing to people. It's four, five hundred buffaloes, and then that, and that, and them lying, and only three, four of them attacking one, attacking one buffalo, killing it, and everybody else standing around and watching. 
that mentality is what we can break from. That's a slave mentality. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you do that to them, but actually, you already seen they little show films and clips of it when when back in the day, hell, when you tap one of their people, they, the whole cause they whole community come out of here. Even yeah. even back then in 1948, they let you know how how foolish we as as a people. They allowed the, the first police officers in Atlanta, Georgia, to become police officers, the first black. But they told them you only could harass or uh, been harassed or you only could arrest arrest your own kind. You can't say nothing or you you can't you can't approach you can't contact nobody that's white. You can't come and put no contact with no people and try to bring them under some type of seduct or uh, arrest or 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 even post them. That's the order that was given to them. But now hell, our people wide over on our own people. You won't even catch your own people no slack. But it's our own people because you took that oath. You took an oath for something you don't even understand. They all, the, the whole goal of all this is to score us, the American Indians. And you help them do it on a daily basis. Score your own people. Your own children. Your own family. All right. Thank you. Um, I want people to go to his page because he's going to be putting stuff on his page. Go to his page and um, um, friend request him and, you know, follow mm -hmm. him because I'm going to do this. Not the only bit video that I'm going to do with him. Mm -hmm. like I say, I've been knowing him for three years and um, I want us to continuously do this and I want us to continuously grow because we have a lot of people that's trying to infiltrate us. They're mm -hmm. trying to infiltrate us and try to act like they are indigenous and they're not indigenous. Yeah, I'm going to bring it up too real quick because yeah. that's another thing. I had started some about two years ago and I was infiltrated by some Moors that caused the vision amongst us that was trying to come together as American Indians to, to, to bring the tribes together even though you could be in a different tribe for me, but we all can come together with your own flag and uh um, still, we're gonna raise one flag so that it can represent us as a people, as a nation. But this evil that's been done to us is most is other melanated beings that infiltrate our community, especially the indigenous community. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, um, it's like I want to, um, I want us to beware because when they come at us, they're not going to come at us with a white person. They're not going to come at us with a, with a Mexican. They're going to come at us with our mm -hmm. own kind. Because they're sitting your own kind. Yeah. And then they don't work. That's when they're going to try to come. But then but when they get ready to come, that's when we'll be at war. We'll be a full-fledged war. Yeah. And we winning. People think <laughs> we're not winning. winning. Yeah. yeah. So that's what they always done. Yeah. But so, remember, let's meditate. On a Saturday, three o'clock Eastern, four o'clock Central, five o'clock Pacific. I mean, Mountain Time, six o'clock Pacific. We're gonna do that Saturday and Sunday. Males, put your right foot in water, put your left foot in the ground. That, that ground shoes you back to this avatar. The water represents spirit. The females. Put your left foot in water, just a little pail of water, little pail of water, cover just the top of your foot. You don't have to be a lot, and put your right foot in the dirt. Cause see, that's another thing that they've been doing that you don't even understand. Even they control, they they all the shoes that we buy from them, the shoes that you put on your feet, it disconnects you from the earth. And, and see, that's another thing that people don't know. See, that, that's another thing we got. We we got to get control of everything, our clothing. Our shoes, lotions, everything that we put on our body and conceive and we conceive in our body, we gotta take back control of because that's what been disconnecting us from the earth. So, so that's why I'm telling you to put your foot in that water and your other foot in dirt because that's gonna ground you back to the earth and you meditate. We're gonna heat the sun up. 
Because when we heat the sun up through the dream world, which is the spirit realm, and on this avatar world, we're going to burn the immortal out that spirit realm. We're going to defeat them on that side first. And then we'll defeat them on this side. Just know that. All right. So, All right. Um, okay. So, um, thank you so much, Lewis. Thank you. Um, I want to have, I want to do this again with you because you got so much information. And yeah. like I tell you, uh, yeah, I, like I, mean, I, I, I go on for hours because I've been through this battle for a long time. I lost financially behind this. I lost home behind this. I lost a lot. Yeah. And oh, it, it, it ain't something I've just been doing. I've been doing it. But I just never been making videos on it because I always did with my people from my within my inner circle. Cause I, I I never felt the need to do videos. But the reason I come to do this video now because my ancestors come to me to reveal this to you about this meditation. We got the heat up the earth. And we directly connected to the sun. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I hope you don't take it as a joke. I'm, I'm dead serious about it. I please hope you don't take it as a joke. Mm -hmm. These wow. meditations, we're going to do them at the same time. On Saturday, if you can't do it on Saturday, we're going to do it on Sunday. We're going to do this every week. We're not going to stop till we see results. Because then they're going to know it's real. Because... That's what they connected us from, is from the cosmos. We are directly connected to the cosmos. We are the star seed. And we can bring ourselves back to power by using our power. That sun is our power. That is our protection. And we can use it. We're going we're gonna to raise them frequencies up on them. And they don't know what to hit them. Okay. But, um, yeah. I Go ahead and sign off, Rebel, so we can uh, yeah. talk to and, um uh, One more thing, too, because uh, when I did the Blackamore video, and if y'all want to y'all wanna go off and then you do what you want to do, but when I did the, let you go after this. When I did the Blackamore mm -hmm. video in last year in January, no, this year in January, and I was describing the lips, I was describing the cheekbones because we're made different. I was describing that they got fat faces and they round, and they got big lips. They told me I was wrong. And I'm mm -hmm. like, no, because I remember I had two cousins with big lips, and we would laugh at them. Mm -hmm. We would laugh because it was something new to us. Like Because that's what they did with our women. They was coming here, and that's another thing that, that I hear them say. See, the women's is our women's they consider things was connected to the land. So they figure if they raped our women or had children by them or they married them, that gave them rights to the land. So that's why even to the day they always say, Well, uh this is Al Morocco. This ain't Al it never been Al Morocco. They always try to claim it as there, they try to conquer conquer us, but this never was Al Morocco. It's always been Turtle Island. But see yeah. Because you thought cause they was melanated, you thought they was the same as you, and that's not true. Yeah. And I proved it to you with Muhammad Ali himself. And you know the type of man that he was and what he stood for. He gave his whole career up for his own people. He would not sell out. But he but he made it known, hey, they won't let me come eat. But when them African came in with them robes and turbans on, that white man was able to distinguish them. That he, uh, all of them was black. That y'all say you call yourself black, but he didn't let he he didn't let that he didn't let Muhammad Ali in, but he let the mother Negroes in because they know the way they was dressed. He knew they was part of the black nobility. He knew what that stood for. So that's why I'm trying to tell you, everybody ain't your brother just because they're melanated. They only want to attack the American Indian. They only want to oppress the American Indian. I know that for a fact. So they can't bring them bullshit with me because I know I've been doing for years. Okay, so um, I'm gonna let you go, brother. I I told right. I, I deal I deal with with straight. <laughs> I, I deal with anybody I mess with. You gonna have knowledge, or I'm not messing with you. That's just yeah. me. And and I brought them all. I had to bring them on because it was like it was almost like he was my confirmation on what I was reading. Mm -hmm. So I had to bring him on. I thank all of y'all for listening. I, this is my first time, I think this is my second time doing a live, because I normally don't do them, because I like to share them to other platforms. I love y'all. Yeah. Y'all take care of yourself. Thank you so much, Lewis, for coming on and, and sharing this time with us, and I can't wait. Yeah, did you uh, my name on Facebook? 
Yeah, well, you you tagged onto the video, so it should be on your page too. And yeah, um, Lewis, yeah, Lewis Thomas. So about YouTube, you they find you on YouTube. No, I don't, I don't. I'm about to set one up, but you know, I told you, you know, I don't really, I never dwelled in this, you know, this this stuff on platform because I know the CIA only made it for us to infiltrate. But because we we're so many now, they 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 can't keep up. They can't keep up with the numbers. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so get one, and, and y'all need to go to his um page and start following him because me and him we're gonna do videos together because he got so he's younger than me, but he got so mm -hmm. much information. To the point where he talks, sometimes I'll be like, "What?" I'll be so shocked. And we mm -hmm. have to, us as people, we have to come together. We have to stop fighting with one another. Yep. And like you said, everybody is not our brother and sister. They have mm -hmm. lied to, us, told us that, and that's what really messed mm -hmm. us up. Now we're getting back to where we we need to be, and we need to keep going this route because it's mm -hmm. going to be a lot of people you're going to see. Even where we at right now, you're gonna see a lot of people that's gonna turn on us. Yep. Hey, but I want y'all if I go, take me serious on this meditation. Don't take this as a joke. Even if you don't understand, please. We're gonna meditate Saturday and Sunday at those same time. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna raise the frequency. We connect to the sun. We start seeing. We're directly connected to it. We're going to use that sun as a weapon. I mean, literally as a weapon. Because we got to burn them out of that spirit realm. We got to get them out of there. So that way we can reconnect on this side. It'll be a cakewalk. Just take my word for it. But I'm going to let you go. I'm going to come back to another segment about the dream world. And what I mean, I'm going to give you a story that will happen to me personally. So I mean, I, and I, I don't tell no lies, period. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened to me. I was attacked in my dream world. And then I was able to catch the woman in this side of the realm, seeing her face to face, and she knew I caught her. So uh, and I enlighten y'all on the next on the next uh episode. Yeah, next time, next when he when he come back here, we'll do the dream world because we need to know this. You all have a nice day. Goodbye. That is